Did I won't be doing a lot of talking. She'll be doing most of the talking. Show her. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm Shadrach. Cute Shadrach. Hello, Shadrach. And today I'm here with Heavenly. Okay. My full names are you can Faith Sado. Okay. So Heavenly, let's start with tell us a little bit about yourself and what position you're aspiring for. Um, I'm a TIF girl from Benue State, a 300 level student, fisheries and aquaculture from Department of Forestry and Fisheries, and I'm running for the post of the sports actually. So let's start with what inspired you to run for this particular post, the sports secretary? Oh, thank you very much for that question. I will tell you in a very simple way that passion inspires me. Okay. Um, all my life, right from my secondary school days down to my tertiary days, um, if there is anything I love in this life is passion for sport. I love sport. It started like a passion and now I can tell you that it is a lifestyle already. Oh, first, if you would look at the school, which is Joseph Sawantaka University, yeah. you will believe me that the 14, the sporting facilities are very, very bad. So warm out. They need thorough renovation. I cannot even say renovation. As a matter of fact, we need new construction. Okay. Now, as a sports secretary, I will want to address the fact of the old sporting facilities. What initiative do you have in mind to enhance the sport uh, community? Okay, if you could look around, um, I haven't traveled much, but believe me, to the few places I've visited, I will tell you that we are no longer using an outdoor um sporting facility for instance our handball basketball volleyball and the uh, long tennis court are no longer outdoor again why because um you see what happens in the rainy season when you are in, in training and then it started raining you just have to quit and without even completing your season. Definitely. That day is defeated. You cannot do anything tangible. Now, if we can have a closed door sporting facilities, con rain, con sunshine, we'll be able to do that. Now, this is a school that has more than 1,000 students. Oh. That is on a minimum. Okay. Now, we have more than that. Yes. But we have just one basketball. We have just one um, uh, volleyball court, one long tennis court. That's very poor. Yeah. Now, it is expected that every student should involve in, in sport. sport because it's, if not necessary, it is mandatory. Yeah. Now, we have just one, one, one of all those things and they are warm out. If I would come in as the sports secretary, I'm not promising heaven and earth because that I cannot give. Yeah. But I want to tell everybody with full hope and confidence that we will work together to improve the sporting facilities, at least have an indoor sporting facility. facility. And even for the ones that are outdoors, which we need them to, yeah. they will be well arranged, renovated, and we will even have light for those that cannot play in the evenings, can play in the night, night. Okay. to make it more easy for everybody. Wow, that's really that's really innovative. I must say. Um, our next question will be: the other people contesting for this very position you are going for. Mm -hmm. So, what sets you apart, and uh, why should we vote for you in place of them? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you see, coming to competition i'm not saying i am the best we are all the best we are all unique and we need everybody that's what makes the difference that was makes um the uniqueness of life that's what makes the competition high however voting for me will be a very big flex I'm not just saying this because i'm the one saying it for myself but um 
coming from my life um for 18 years you might wonder how old i am but for 18 years of my life i've been in sport right from childhood my father will take me in out we do sport will come back and i'm so used to sport i play long tennis and badminton i've been so experienced in the game in my secondary school i was one of the top gaming students the school can count on any day any time when it comes to sport That's and crazy. having that experience for six years in my secondary school made me capable and knowing the areas which sports need to be touched that we can give a good result yes oh. that's really how should i say i'm speechless <laughs> <laughs> all right um if you're not going for the sports secretary yourself who would you vote for well if i'm not going for the sports secretary myself yeah. then i must tell you comrade agbonji enoch is an outstanding young man and i will give everything to vote for him if i'm not coming myself okay. wow that's very humble of you